In this video, I'm going to show you how to manually enter bank transactions in Xero. So the first thing you need to do is to log into your Xero account and head to the dashboard. In here, you'll see the current account or the business bank account over in this section. Now, let's say the balance in your Xero is saying 1760.54 but in reality, it should be 1700. This is what you've checked in your bank statements. So that would mean that there is a payment or a bank transaction that hasn't reflected. So for this example, we're gonna ignore the unreconciled items over here and this statement balance. So this will be a topic for a different video and we're gonna be focusing on this for now. So again, if it says 1760.54 on your zero, but it should be less, it should be around 1700, then that means there is a transaction that hasn't been recorded on your zero account. So to manually enter a bank transaction, we're gonna be looking for this three dots right here. Give that a click and then click on spend money. Now, what we're gonna do here is to manually input our bank transaction so that the payment will reflect on our zero account so for this example let's say we made a payment to union bank and then you should know the date of the transaction so let's say the transaction occurred on march 4 and then under description we're just going to put Bank payment, quantity one, and then the price is 70.54. Now for account, let's say it was bank fees over here. And as you can see, bank fees are tax exempt. You can also change that depending on the nature of the transaction, but we're gonna stick with tax exempt for this example. And in this case, you don't have to worry about tax exclusive or tax inclusive or no tax at all since the payment is tax exempt. But maybe we can stick with no tax over here. And once you're done editing the details of that specific bank transaction, you're just gonna go ahead and click on save. And this should register on your Xero account. Now we're just going to go back to our dashboard to check how this looks on our business bank account. Now it says here the balance in zero is 1690. So I said a while ago it was 1700. So uh, again, uh, let's just adjust the balance into what the actual payment is. So this should still be right on the money. So basically, that's how you input a bank transaction if in case there's an inaccuracy with your bank statement and it hasn't reflected on your Xero account. And that's about it. That's how you manually enter bank transactions in Xero. If you have any questions, please let me know down in the comments below and I'll do my best to help you out.